Hey, what's up guys? This is A12 bringing you my week 6 of the PWC. And this week, we're taking on Adema Lawyer's Toronto Maple Leaves. Now as you can see, he has a pretty scary team with the Terra Scrafty, Iron Valiant, Salamence, Ogopon Wellspring, and just a lot of scary offensive threats. So in order to deal with these, we are bringing the Focus Sash Gengar again with the Pain Split, Toxic Spikes, and Destiny Bond, just because he does not have a Toxic Spikes switch in, as he doesn't have a Poison type. So I think that Toxic Spikes will slowly be able to whittle his team, and Gengar can just generally trade one for one with whichever Pokemon I decide to choose. Next Pokemon we're bringing is the Iron Treads, with the Iron Head, Earthquake, Rapid Spin, Megahorn, kind of standard, Chopal just to be able to take the Iron Valiant hits, as Iron Valiant is very scary for my team. The next Pokemon we're bringing is a little bit weird. We are bringing a Max Special Attack Tauros, with the Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Body Slam, and Close Combat, with the Terra Electric. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because he has an Alola Mola, which I am expecting to be fully physically defensive Rocky Helmet, specifically because he knows that I have a Tauros on my team, and that I have to bring the Tauros to every single match. So I'm expecting to defense Alola Mola, and this Tauros variant can one-shot a physically defensive Alola Mola. The next Pokemon we're bringing is another little bit of heat, a max defense Specs Wigglytuff with the Luring Voice, Stealth Rock, Baton Pass, etc, etc. Now, the reason why we're bringing this is, once again, the Iron Valiant is a huge problem for my team. So, with the Choice Specs, Wigglytuff can actually one-shot Valiant without any special attack investment. So, that's the primary reason why we're bringing Wigglytuff. The next Pokemon is a Scarf Infernape. As it's a fantastic revenge killer, as he has double steel types on his team, and I'm expecting both the Heatran and the Grudra Hisuian to come in the matchup. So, just a fantastic revenge killer. And the last Pokemon we're bringing is just a standard Spex Latios with the Draco Meteor Aura Sphere, etc. I mean, you know what Spex Latios does. It, it, it spams Luster Purges, it spams Draco Meteors, and just breaks holes into the opponent's team. So that's my team, and let's get into this match. Oh no, he didn't bring the Alola Mola. Okay, um, so my Toro set is completely useless, um, <laughs> which is a little unfortunate, but uh, we'll play from there. I need to be careful about the Wellspring and the Iron Valiant in general with my team, is because I, I do not have good answers to either one. So I'm just going to lead the Infernape, expecting Cleavor. Yeah, Cleavor lead. Um, not too, too surprising. Now I could go for the Stone Edge, but I think there's a chance this might be like a Sash uh, set. So what I'm going to do is... Actually, no, even if he is Sash, I can just... Um... So I take a decent chunk. I assume he's going to switch out here. He might stay in and preserve this. Um... But I'm still going to go out into my Mecha Jimmy. Yep, as he goes out into that, and I'm going to Rapid Spin. If he stays in and attacks me, fine. Um, I do lose one of my Valiant checks, which would be a little unfortunate, but I don't think he's going to stay in. Yep, he did not stand. So I get my Rapid Spin off. Um, don't need to worry about rocks, and my Spooky is like a Focus Ash variant, so it should be able to check this. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to go straight on to my Gengar. If he, yeah, if he attacks, he attacks. Okay, he sets up the bulk up. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, and here, I'm just going to get my Toxic Spikes off. Yeah, I'm just going to get Toxic Spikes off, as he's probably going to attack, I would assume. No, he's, he switched out, fairing me. Okay. So I get my attack off, um, and I'm just going to fire off a big Focus Blast, and hopefully... Okay, so he brings me down to Sash. So Cleavor's down. Um, I'm just going to set up a Destiny Bond, hopefully take out the Scrafty. I do not take out the Scrafty, okay. But I'm going to Spain split him and uh, knock him back down. And I'll Focus Blast to take him out as he... Okay. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah, that miss was really unfortunate. His Focus Blast would have um, taken out that Scrafty right here. Now I have to hope he doesn't land knockoff on Sleep Talk. As he isn't Sleep Talk, okay. 
So I'm just going to focus blast twice and take him out. Um, as he reveals Terra Poison, I'm fine. He knows I'm Destiny Bond. I'm still going to fire off Destiny Bond just in the off chance he knockoffs. As he rests, okay. And he immediately wakes up. Very unfortunate for me. But that's fine. Um, I'm going to go out into my Tauros and sack it off. Uh, Tauros has a very bad matchup here. As, uh, yeah. As he, he did not bring sets I was really expecting. It's because since the um, thing didn't come... Okay, he just sets up again. Continues to set up. He's playing a very dangerous game right now. Because my Latios will be able to revenge kill this with Sluster Purge. Ah, these immediate Shedskin wake-ups are very unfortunate for me. So I'm just going to Luster Purge. It should be able to take him out. I am a Spex Latios. Yep. So, uh, Halucha, or not Halucha, um... His Terra user goes down to Scrafty, which is very good for my team, as Scrafty was very annoying for a lot of my Pokemon, like the uh, Infernite. Now here, I assume he goes out into Gudra. That's pretty safe on his end. Or he goes out into Salamence. Is he going to be Scarf? Um, he might be. Even if he is Scarfed, I have to Luster Purge. If he outrages, he outrages. Okay, so he's Dragon Dance, fine. Um, my Wigglytuff should be able to take any one hit, just be on like a max defense Wigglytuff variant. Um, do I sack off my... Yeah, I think I sack off my uh, Gengar here. As he reveals Outrage, okay. So he's just gonna go down to my uh, thing. And I'll, I'll learn voice. Because I'm immune, so Wigglytuff gets a kill. I also have to be very careful about the Valiant endgame, because um, Valiant, like, if I let my Wigglytuff get too chipped, or if I let my uh, Treads get too chipped, the Valiant is just going to win endgame. And that's just something I need to be aware of. Okay, so he goes this, I have, to, I have to go Iron Treads if he goes for... Okay, he's Acid Armor. So I get my uh, thing off. So now, since I let my Treads get chipped, I 100% need to keep my, um, yeah, I 100% need to keep my Wigglytuff healthy in order to deal with the Valiant end game. So I'm just going to go with this and fire off the Draco Meteor, which should take this out. As he lives on 1 HP. No! Okay. No! Oh no! Draco miss again in a short time period. I think I lose the game now. It's be I- ah. Oh. Now I lose the Ogrepunk Cornerstone in the back when that should not have won the game. Yeah, what would happen was I would go out into Wigglytuff, close combat wouldn't be able to a KL. And um, from there, uh, since my Wigglytuff is specs, I'm pretty sure it would have won the game. Now I'm pretty sure I lose the game. It's because the Ogrepunk plus the uh, Iron Valiant hits are going to be able to take out my Wigglytuff. Shoot. I feel like I played that game really well too, until that just end game miss. I I'm I'm probably never going to draft Latios again, honestly. It's been incredibly frustrating to use this season. Just be that's the second game where we probably would have won had we not missed a Draco Meteor. He goes Valiant. Fine. Booster. Fine. I have to go out into Wigglytuff and I have to... You have to learn voice. But here's the thing, now the uh, corner, the Ogre Palm will spring lines. No, I have to hope for a crit. Just be I didn't bring uh, Blaze. Wait, why didn't I bring Blaze? Yeah, shoot, if I was Blaze, I would have won this game right now. And I had no reason to bring Iron Fist, because I didn't have any fist moves. So that was a misprep on my end, and yeah. So. Good game to my opponent.